everyone, it's Libby from Meister Tower. I'd like to acknowledge the Waramai First Nations people. It's W-O-R-I-M-I First Nations people. And welcome to you, your guides, my guides and the universal energies. Absolute pleasure to have you along today. Thank you. Thank you so much for your um, positive positivity and light and love, etc. For my mum, just got off the phone from her. Uh, oh gosh, got to love messenger. So yeah, just on messenger, click the click the dial button, and away we go um, overseas. Okay, so entertainment only. A lot to catch up with today. Oh, I'm just going to put it out there. No matter where I end up in the world, I'll still be here because isn't it wonderful how portable a deck of cards and a and a laptop computer is. So. Let's have a, oh goodness, there's a lot coming coming down the pike at the moment. Where do I start? So as expected, because the cards did say that this was going to happen, oh gosh, I can't remember when that reading was, uh, that uh, Jack Smith was going to uh, relodge the January the 6th um, insurrection indictment, um, reword it and, and relodge it. And yes, he has. I believe that happened overnight. So that will go, I believe, uh, to Judge Hookin again and a new grand jury to decide whether it actually, uh, how there is enough information to uh, take it to trial from what I understand now. Uh, funnily enough, I'm actually currently reading a Mickey Haller um, Lincoln lawyer book at the moment by uh, Michael Connolly. So, yeah, I'm right into this trial stuff at the moment about about how things are worded and the play between the uh, prosecution and the defence, etc. So, yes, I want to have a look to see how that is going to go. Now, I keep saying September. What are we up to? 28th of August. So September's literally three days away. Um, I keep saying September's going to be absolutely horrific for Trump. So let's have a look. Oh, I did have to have a chuckle at... Uh, Oh gosh, was it what was it? Over two hundred long-term senior Republicans, including those that have been on, in the White House staff during the Trump administration, have signed an open letter uh, backing the Harris Walsh campaign. But let's have a look. Let's have a look. You want to stop there? Okay. Using my gilded tarot royale, come on down. We're looking at. Um, well, what are we looking at? <laughs> The reworked indictment. Okay, so we've got here a signifier. Well, it could be an emotional ending, the ending of an emotional cycle here. Could simply be the voter, the voter actually getting the information. So let's see where this goes. Oh, challenged by the argy-bargy back and forth in fighting. Uh, so you can guarantee the uh, Trump's defence are just going to go all out um peels, um, pushbacks, you name it. So, yep, this is going to be, so this is, okay, thank you. If you hear my guides, let me know. I'm home alone except for three fast asleep fur babies, but it is a windy day outside. It seems like we missed uh, spring entirely. But this is about in, uh, the voter, keep it, the voters being informed, uh, challenged by this pushback. Foundation, it's going to move really quickly and a lot of information is going to come out. This is the foundation card, eight of wands. I do apologize for those that um, if I don't say the cards themselves, I'm actually a story uh, storyteller reader rather than by rote what the cards mean. We've got five of wands, eight of wands. This is about messaging. This is about information coming out. It can be about planning as well. But boy, oh boy, there's a lot that's going to come out really quickly. In the past, the loss, the disappointment, the heartbreak, I mean, this this has should have started probably t around 12 months ago, if not earlier. Um, but due to, to um, delays and appeals and just BS carry on, it got delayed. But this is in the past now. The emotional disappointment of this not going forward is in the past. We have the two cups there and we also have this tree in the background here that uh, is absolutely aglow with fireflies and, and light. So 
this is, I think, I could just about guarantee I don't look back at my old readings because you know what it's like listening to the recording of your own voice. Um, ooh, scary, isn't it? Um, this, I could guarantee that this had come up when I was looking at this several months back um, about the uh, disappointment and when I said that the, it would be reworked and relodged. I can just about guarantee. And that's what's happened. This is in the past, the loss, the going away, the relodging. Okay, crowning this reading. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Get your popcorn and champagne ready. This is going to be, there's a lot, big information coming here, really, really big information, and it's going to be, if I say fiery, that it's going to be presented. Okay, the immediate future. Um, we've got the uh, lover's card here, contracts and agreements. So this is the indictment. This is very possibly about that my daughter who is not here has discovered one of these secondhand clothing apps. <laughs> and boy, oh boy, uh, she's kidding herself out for summer. Okay, let's keep going with this. Um, so, yeah, the immediate future, the lover's card, contracts, agreements, but we very, very much have, um, they're almost like, okay, thank you, uncomfortable contracts and agreements, diminishing contracts and agreements. You've got the masculine energy here, the my way or the highway, the misogynistic energy um, fading rapidly in the face of uh, what is being revealed. Okay, externally, oh, oh, oh yep. Uh, another major arcana here under the lover's card, the light being shone on the path to reveal the snake. Well, we know who the snake is. Okay, so this is externally, the light being shone. Internally, a new start. So this is um, a, a reworked indictment that was lodged. It is about a new start to shine the light on the snake, about contracts and agreements that were made. The hopes and fears, it's all about the attempt to steal the election. The lies, the betrayal, the deceit, the attempt to steal the election, the outcome. Okay, is this the outcome for Jack or is this the outcome for Trump himself? The swords of truth, uh, forcing, um, forcing, well, it could be ill health, it could be retreat, uh, forcing into this situation. Uh, the Queen of Cups, information being brought forward that's not yet been revealed. It could be an, a, an emotional, oh, Trump's going to lose it over this. Thank you, guys. Oh, you don't even need to be a psychic to know that he is going to lose it. So this is trying, okay, thank you. I'm getting that um, when I'm looking at this card and what I'm hearing, if you hear my guides, let me know. What I'm getting is that, Trump's defense team. There is a female. Is would it be what's her name? Uh, Ababa or something along those lines. Hubba, Hubba. Um, trying to keep a lid on his emotions. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. But the truth is being brought forward in a reduced form. It's not everything, but in a reduced form. Um, yeah, there is strengths in the information that is being brought forward, and it is volatile information. So, yes, Jack Smith has had to pair it back, rework it, but it's not going to lose, it's not going to diminish any of what is included in regards to uh, Trump. We've got here uh, disappointment in what's being, Trump being disappointed in what's being presented but there's a harsh truth. Here is Judge Shukkin. Here is Prosecutor. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Um, if I keep going, uh, legal restriction, having to surrender, Russia, full illumination. And then we've got best of democracy and temperance as secrets about oligarchical money is brought forward and information about Four choices. Okay, so I should probably look at this very quickly from each side. So 
Okay, is is this going to move forward? You can guarantee Trump will try and take it to the Supreme Court. By which time, but, oh, sorry, terrible light there. Let's, uh, yes, you can see Spot there, Spot with his spot on him. Two spots, actually, one on his tail and one on his back. Let's have a look. It's keeping an eye out just in case the postie comes back. Okay, let's have a look. Um, as I said, oh, you can just about guarantee it'll go to the Supreme Court, but uh, the information will be out there for the uh, the the voting public. Okay, let's have a look. The information will be out there for the voting public. Um, okay, let's have a look. Show me from the DOJ, because I don't know whether, I mean, Jack Smith is the one that has lodged. Doesn't mean he's the one that will actually present but let's have a look because he's got a he's got a team. The DOJ. How's this going to go from the DOJ's point of view? Okay, let's have a look. Okay, secrets are going to be revealed. Hidden agendas are going to be exposed and revealed. So how is this going to go from the DOJ's point of view? The challenge is to harvest. So uh, the challenge is to. <clears throat> bring forth this information, the moneyed information possibly, or the Homeland Security information. Not yet done. That's their challenge. That is their challenge is to present the case with that Seven of Pentacles. At the foundation, we've got a choice of which path to go forward, uh, having to make the decision. Uh, you've got one brightly lit path of strength or uh, going down into the thicket. So, uh, it's the foundation, and I think what's happened is they've actually chosen the, the the path of strength to bring forth the information. So there is <clears throat> there is a decision that needs to be made about what is actually presented. If you can hear that, that spot having a drink out of his water bowl. In the foundation, this is Jack Smith representing the reworked indictment, relogic. Um, bound, working with the boundaries that were set up and the, presenting the new uh, new indictment. Okay, crowning the street, something unexpected out of left field coming forward. I'm asking from, from the DOJ's point of view, they've got information to present that, that they haven't exposed yet. It's going to be huge. It is going to be huge. They're going to take this path. With the stag there, the path of all that is bright and light and expose it. And here it is in the immediate future. Um, okay, there's going to be a lot. There's, I'm just going to say there's going to be a tax by the defence on Jack Smith himself and on the DOJ, but he's got the higher ground. He's got the light at his back and he's got higher ground. So just uh, you can, don't even need to be a psychic to know that, that they're going to absolutely lash out. Internally, he has a great team. There is a really strong team at the DOJ working on this. They know their stuff. Hopes and fears, packing up the truth and moving on. Fear, packing up the truth and moving on. Hope, yeah, so this case is going to go forward. And I think it's going to go forward very quickly. They're going to present information from the past about the devil, about the devil energy, about what happened. And it is going to be, I, I even though it's the judgment card, I'm going to tell you it's going to be explosive, absolutely explosive. Okay. Seeing what's coming next. Well, on the base, I've got. Oh no, I'm not even going to go there. I just go where my boys are telling me. They're just telling me to stop there for Jack. It is going to be a judgment moment where this energy is going to be presented, seen, and heard. Okay, so I want to have a look. I was almost feel like I've got the wrong deck. So, haven't got my doesn't wait yet out. Anyhow, let's have a look. How's this court case? How's this 
So it's going to a grand jury under the guidance of Judge Shukin. How's it going to go for Trump with this new, new reworked indictment? How's it going to go for Trump? I might do a note down a health reading for him tomorrow with all this new information coming out. Let's have a look. How's it going to go for Trump? I'm being told that in the whole scheme of everything, this is literally the tip of the iceberg, what's going to come out in this case. Okay, how's it going to go for Trump? Come on down, let's have a look. Right, well, how's it going to go for Trump? The case is going to move forward. Uh, the Queen of Pentacles, it's about home. the challenge is the case is going to be about homeland security, um, domestic terrorism type stuff, and very possibly who was paid to be involved at the foundation for Trump. Oh, he thinks he's, you know, how dare they? How dare they? I'm rich. Don't they know who I am? Blah, 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 blah. You know how it goes with him. Uh, yeah, I'm not saying it's an indolence, but he's just really, uh, he thinks he's protected because of the money factor. In the past, here is my Russia card. In the past, Russia, or it could simply be something expansively new being brought forward in the past. So this could be the relodging. Let's see where this goes. Oh. Do you need any explanation here? Crowning the energies, it's all about this attempt to steal, the lie, the abuse of power, the win at any cost. Doesn't matter what you, how you lie, what you steal, it's a win at any cost type energy. And that's what this is about. <sighs> oh, goodness me. Right. Uh, immediate future mercenary actions, mm -hmm. or it could be about bringing forward information about money. Let's see where it goes. Externally, uh, Page of Wands, which is very much about the orator. Yeah, he's going to act in his usual mercenary way, and um, he's just going to childishly put it out there, as he does. Um, one of the reasons why he, he, I could just about guarantee he's going to back out of the debate with uh, Harris is that he's got no policy. He's just got childish schoolyard sand pit carry on. Word soup. It's even beyond word salad. It's word soup. If you're a Trump supporter, you're on the wrong channel. Yeah, he's just externally, he's just going to childishly go out there and rant away. Internally, though, we have this realisation of the truth coming out with the Page of Swords. It's a, it's a page, so it is minor in the court cards, but there is this realization that this truth is going to come out and it's going to be well first of all he's going to be inflammatory so that's what his plan is but his fear is also that this inflammatory information is going to be presented the outcome right two of cups considering his options but it's not going to end well for him uh, this is almost like making a deal with his lawyer. You get me out of this and I'll do what, you know, his usual false promises. But we've got the five of cups, loss and disappointment. He may get a gag order, but or he simply might find himself legally restricted. Oh, as secrets are revealed, brought to the surface and revealed about Trump himself. And the last card, it is not going to end well for Trump and he's going to find himself out in the cold. Donors aren't going to donate. He's going to get financially in strife. Yeah, he's in big doo-doo. He may then consider fleeing with that three of wands. But I don't know. I, I've... I've often seen he plans to flee, but I don't think he's going to get away with it. We then have uh, diminished money. 
And it's all smoke and mirrors for Trump. That's why I don't, I don't think he's going to get away with it. It is time. There is a money trail. There is strength that will bring forward the contracts and agreements that he made. This is moving forward. It's bringing an end and it's about to start. Look at these major arcana. It's about to start to about the lies, the attempt to steal, about to be harvested by the DOJ and it will bring forward the secrets, the hidden agenda. It is not going to go well for Trump. Now, but again, I keep saying you do not have to be a psychic to know that, but I love it when the cards reaffirm it's not going to go well for him at all. Um, I won't read to see whether it goes to the Supreme Court because we've got a lot of process to get through before that happens. Um, I've I've often, I have seen that this particular case, the trial won't start before the election, but information will be presented before the election. Um, it doesn't matter how often I look, it's never going to end well for him. Okay, love to you all. Catch you later. Bye-bye.